However, this battery has gone flat, but never mind. It gives us the perfect opportunity to unbox, test, and review this car battery charger. Welcome to CarSpy TV. Right then, the machine we're working with today is the Ring 8 amp smart battery charger and maintainer, specifically model number RSC808, and it's suitable for both traditional and start-stop batteries. Now, there's a great deal of information written on this box, so I'll just read out the key points, starting with what's on the left of the box. There we go. And as we can see, it's suitable for a wide range of batteries, specifically lead, gel, calcium, AGM, and EFB. The charger is also suitable for a wide range of vehicles, including cars, 4x4s, vans, and look at that, even small trucks. And the final thing I want to show you on the left of the box is that the charger has both 12 and 24 volt DC charging modes. All right. Now, what I'll do is just hold the camera there like so. And if you want to read the rest of the information, you can just pause the video. It's OK. I can wait. Are you back? Good. OK. Now, on the right of the box, there's one thing I want to show you in particular, specifically that the charger, as we can see down there, is weatherproof. And the specific weatherproof... I can't talk. I'll try that again. The specific weatherproof rating is IP65. Now, I'm not going to get too geeky about the IP65 weatherproof rating, but the key point to note is that it means the unit is tightly sealed, so in theory, you should be able to leave it outside in a decent amount of rain and it shouldn't fill up with water. It shouldn't fill up with dust either. Now, I like the fact that this charger is weatherproof. That's a very useful feature and it certainly distinguishes it from other chargers I've used in the past. Anyway, if you'd like to read the rest of the information on the right side of the box, there it is. Right then, this of course is the charger itself, which as we can see is about the size of my hand and it does feel solid and built to last. Now at the front here, towards the top, we have this screen, which is a backlit and we'll see that operating in a moment when we plug this thing in. Just below that, we have a single button that is for selecting the charge mode. And there are six charge modes to choose from as specified by this diagram. Now, the modes that you toggle through on the button are 12 volt car battery, 12 volt car battery winter, 12 volt truck battery, 12 volt truck battery winter, 24 volt truck battery, and you guessed it, 24 volt truck battery winter. The winter modes slightly increase the voltage that goes into your battery. Now, on the back of the charger, we have a hook. There it is. And this hook emerges just like so. And then you can twist it around to whatever angle is convenient. And this, of course, means you can easily just hang the charger up while it's in use, for example, from the catch that holds your car bonnet shut. Now, at the bottom of the charger, there are two cables. One, of course, is the mains plug, and this unit has a three-pin UK plug. But do not despair if you live in a different part of the world, because you can get the same charger with a two-pin plug, although that does have a slightly different model number. So, as I said earlier, this unit here with the UK plug is model number RSC808. But if you'd rather have a two pin plug instead, simply go for RESC808. All right. Now, the second cable that emerges from the bottom of the charger is this one here. And on the end of it, if we have a look down here, we can see that it has a generic connector that enables you to choose which type of battery clamp you use. 
Now this smart car battery charger comes with two separate types of battery clamp, each of which have their pros and cons, as I shall show you as soon as I can get them untangled. Come on. There we go. Option one is these crocodile clips, and the advantage, of course, is that they can very quickly be connected to the terminals of your battery. The disadvantage, as well as hurting your finger, is that they could conceivably be knocked out of place, in which case, of course, your battery won't charge. Option two are these O-rings, which form a more permanent connection to your car's battery, and you'd use these if, for example, you're leaving the battery on a trickle charge over the winter. Now, the advantage is that you'll never ever accidentally knock these out of place, unlike the crocodile clamp, but the disadvantage is that these are harder to install. You have to loosen the clamp that holds the wire on the terminal of your car's battery. But whether you prefer the crocodile clips or indeed the O-rings, they both have the same generic connector down at the end. And as you might expect, they beautifully fit the connector I showed you earlier that emerges from the bottom of the charger. So all you have to do is push it in. Right then, let's turn the smart battery charger on and see how it behaves. And as we can see, it's now plumbed into this battery here via the crocodile clips. And all we need to do to turn it on is flick this switch on the wall. So I'll do that and you keep an eye on the screen down there. Are you ready? There we go. So we can see that the screen lights up with a blue tint. That is the backlight, and it will fade in a little while if we don't press the button. Also, we can see that the battery is currently reading 12.8 volts, all useful information. So what we need to do now via this button here is select the relevant charge mode. And remember, they're all laid out down there. So we simply toggle through them, press the button once, and it goes to car 12 volt because that's the last mode I used. Press it again, 12 volt car winter and so on, all the way through the options. Just pick what you need, which in this case for us is that one there, car 12 volt, and then do nothing. Wait a moment and there we are. It starts to charge and we can see that the voltage on the battery is already rising nicely. So in summary, this charger has a lot to commend it. It feels well built. It's weather resistant. It comes with different types of clamp. It's easy to use and depending which mode you select, it charges at up to eight amps, which is considerably quicker than a lot of other chargers. Additionally, once the battery is full, the charger says F-U-L on the screen so you know what's going on and then it automatically switches into maintenance mode. Maintenance mode is just a very gentle trickle charge that just keeps the battery nicely topped up, but without any fear of overcharging. As for the user manual, well, this is it, just a few bits of paper. And this manual relates to several different charges made by the manufacturer that all work in broadly the same way, but have slightly different specifications. Now, this manual, as we can see, if we flick through it, is mostly pictorial. There we are. And I would say it's generally easy to read, and it answers most questions, but not every question. For example, you can get error messages on the screen here specifically ER1 and ER2. Now the instructions make clear that ER1 means you connected the clamps to the wrong terminals on the battery. 
However, the meaning of ER2 is more ambiguous. So this is all there is to go on, so we can see that ER2 is something to do with voltage, but that is rather vague, and all it needs is a, a little bit of writing to remove any ambiguity, and whereas the instructions, as I said, are generally clear, the odd sentence here and there would certainly add context to the pictures and would be a useful addition. Another useful addition to this charger would be some kind of audible alert to accompany any error message that appears on the screen, because as of now, you wouldn't know there's a problem unless by chance you happen to look at it. So you may, for example, plug in your charger, walk away for several hours, assume that it's charging your battery and have no idea there's a problem. You're far less likely to have such issues if you hear, for example, some kind of occasional beeping noise to accompany the error message on the screen. So there you go. That's the Ring 8 Amp Smart Battery Charger and Maintainer. Overall, in my experience, it's a very, very good machine, and there are only a couple of very minor things I tweak about the unit itself. So, that's about it. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, I bought this charger with my own money simply because my old one broke and I don't have any association whatsoever with the manufacturer. Anyway, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to CarSpy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video and I'll see you next time, probably charging a different type of battery. Farewell.